Hi everyone, this is Bee Swarm Simulator game on Roblox and this is part 28. I have been working on some of the quests and one of them is the sticker seeker quest. I needed to find another seeker sticker hidden in the starter zone. So I actually see two. One is over here and one is way over there. So let's claim one to complete my quest. Just like that, this quest is completed. Let's go get our next one. I am at the Hive Hub now, so let's turn in my quest that I've completed. I got some rewards for it, and now I can get my next quest. Let's take a look. So for the next quest, I have to find two Seeker Stickers hidden in the 20B zone or the 5B zone. Collect 170,000 pollen with the Sticker Seeker and collect six stickers without trading. I am at the spider field right now and I already see one of the seeker stickers that I need to find, so let's claim it. Awesome, I just need one more. And I believe I just noticed my second seeker sticker. It's right over here. Let's pick it up as well. Perfect. So for that quest, now I only need to find and collect six stickers without trading. In the meantime, I believe the ingredients are ready from my blender. So I might as well go and collect that. Okay, let's see. I was crafting 27 gumdrops and they are ready. So I can go talk to the science bear now. Let's go do that. Fascinating. So there are at least 27 types of bees. Oh, and illuminating breakdown of the chemical composition of goo. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. Hmm, thinking, aha, uh -huh, there we go. From here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 575%. As a bonus, I'd like you to take this bottle of glue. It's created out of gumdrops and using it increases pollen from bees and tools by 25% for 10 minutes. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. Bees and many other creatures use chemicals called pheromones to communicate with each other chemically through scent. They release a certain pheromone to alert other bees about threats, another to keep track of where they've been, another to tell others where to go, and many more for all sorts of situations. Pheromones are simulated in this game through the Mark B abilities. These produce signs on random areas of the field that grant boosts when you stand in their proximity. It's the visual representation of a bee using pheromones to tell you where to go. If it circles surrounding the two marks overlap, you gain the boosts of both by standing near either. Having many marks active and overlapping on the field increases their effectiveness and makes it much easier to activate many of them at the same time. Stubborn bee, honey bee, carpenter bee, vector bee, and festive bee all produce marks. 
let's take a closer look at pheromone and mark abilities. By better understanding how bees communicate, I believe I'll be able to enhance your swarm. Collect 282 mark tokens, collect 28,282,828 pollen from the pine tree forest, collect the same amount from mushroom field, defeat 28 fire ants, craft 28 ingredients with the blender, defeat 2 werewolves, and most importantly, discover 28 types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. Just like that, Baka Bee's quest is completed. Let's go let him know. Beautiful work. You've earned yourself a blue extract. But there is no time to rest. Blue bees are constantly working, striving. That's what gives us an edge over the red bees. Keep moving forward into the blue. Brave, bold, blue. It's time for another blue-themed quest. Complete it and you'll be another step closer to realizing your true blue potential. I'll also reward you with a blue extract. Blue extracts boost blue pollen by 1.25 for 10 minutes. They're also used as materials for making advanced blue equipment. After every fifth quest, I'll reward you a bonus. And after certain milestones, the bonus may be truly brilliant. I've loaded the next quest into your quest menu. Report back when it's complete. Let's see what do we need to do for Bakabi this time. Now we need to collect 5 million blue pollen, collect 505 blue ability tokens, and defeat 5 mantises. I have been collecting pollen for quite a while now, and I noticed that I have completed a couple quests. One of them is the quest for the polar bear, so I might as well go talk to him now. That's all the ingredients I need. Okay, let me whip something up. Chop, chop, sizzle, a dash of honey, stir. All done, enjoy. Well, I'm always ready to eat. I'll be waiting when you're ready for more cooking. Hey there, you hungry? If you collect the ingredients, I'll cook us up something good. So good, it will permanently increase the maximum energy of your bees by 5%. I'll even throw in some honey for dessert. Check the quest menu to see our next recipe. And for that, we need to collect pollen from the strawberry field, from the blue flower field, and we need to defeat 16 rhino beetles. And let's see, I also completed the quest for the gifted Bako Bee and the sticker seeker rank 4 quest. Was there any other ones? Not quite, but I can complete Brown Bear's quest right now. There's not that much left, so let's go to the strawberry field first, maybe? Oh, hello, ladybugs! I also have a planter in this field, so I might as well harvest it. Awesome! And we also need just a little bit more pollen from the spider field. Hold on, spider. Thank you. And awesome, the planter in this field is ready also. Harvest it. Yes! I'm coming to see you, brown bear. 
Great job, bud. Here is some royal jelly. And as a bonus, five microconverters. You've completed 30 of my quests so far. Complete five more and I'll give you an oil. And if you complete 20 more, I'll give you a gold egg. Looks like it's been over an hour since I gave you the last quest. Talk to me again whenever you're ready for the next one. Welcome back, you ready for a new quest? Complete it and I'll give you some royal jelly and a ticket. You've completed 30 of my quests so far and every new quest becomes a bit more challenging. Check your quest menu to see what's up next. And for brown bear we need to collect 6.5 million blue pollen, 5 million pollen from the pineapple patch and 2.5 million pollen from the clover field. Before we do that, we might as well go and chat with the gifted Bako Bee. We're right here anyway. Beautiful work! You've earned yourself a blue extract, but there is no time to rest. Blue bees are constantly working, striving. That's what gives us an edge over the red bees. Keep moving forward into the blue. Brave, bold, blue. It's time for another blue-themed quest. Complete it and you'll be another step closer to realizing your true blue potential. I'll also reward you with a blue extract. Blue extracts boost blue pollen by 1.25 for 10 minutes. They're also used as materials for making advanced blue equipment. After every fifth quest, I'll reward you a bonus. And after certain milestones, the bonus may be truly brilliant. I've loaded the next quest into your quest menu. Report back when it's complete. So for the gifted Baka Bee, we need to collect 3 million blue pollen from the clover field, 3 million blue pollen from the cactus field, and 3 million blue pollen from the pumpkin patch. Those quests are getting trickier. Okay, so after this, let's go check in with our sticker seeker at the Hive Hub. First thing I need to do here is to equip my sticker seeker collecting tool. Let's do that. If you have any other collecting tool equipped, you're not going to be able to turn in or to get a new quest. So now I'm ready, I got some rewards, and let's see what my next quest is. Here it is, I need to find three Seeker Seekers hidden in the 10B zone or the Starter zone. Collect 200,000 pollen with the Sticker Seeker and to donate a sticker to the public sticker board. Let's take a look, do I have any? stickers that I could donate. Probably this one. Let's take a look. I do have two, so we might as well... Oh, I actually have three. There we go. So you go there, you go here, and let's go work on our quests. I just finished converting pollen into honey and I see another quest that I can finish fairly quick. That is the one at the mountain top field. So we might as well use the red cannon and go up. Let's see. I only need a little bit and this quest will be done as well. Awesome, let's go talk to the black bear. See what I mean? That field is fast. But remember, you should collect from the other fields to earn your badges. These field dice gotta help. Okay, just four more quests until the star jelly is yours. 
As you may have noticed by now, I like to keep things straightforward. When it comes to quests, collecting pollen is all I'm about. But as you progress as a honey maker, you'll be faced with more types of tasks than that. If you really want to improve, you should be doing science bear quests as well. His quests can be tricky, requiring stuff like collecting tokens, but his rewards are great. I hear he's even working on some sort of translator device. Well, I got that one already. Anyways, let's get back to business. Collect 6 million pollen from the blue flower field, also from the mushroom field. Sounds good, Black Bear. What do I see here? Are these my... Seeker stickers. One and two. So I need to find one more. And I see it already. This part of the quest is always so easy. Awesome! No way, is it ready already? Let's take a look. Wow, it's finished! Well, let's go get the next one! Oh, there's some people here. That's alright. So turn in my quest. I got the rewards. And I'll take my next quest, please. Let's look at it. We need to find three seeker stickers hidden in the 5B zone or the 10B zone, collect 220,000 pollen with the sticker seeker, and collect six stickers without trading. I have been working on the quest for the polar bear, so I only need to defeat one more rhino beetle. Let's do that here at the bamboo field. Look at that, there's also a sprout here. Let's see if I can make it grow. Another little trick that I have been using to grow the sprouts in the fields is using the cloud from the windy bee. So I have a few. Let's use one of them. Where is it here? Right here, it's cloud vial. So if I use one at the field with the sprout, it will help me and the sprout will grow a lot faster. all the ingredients I need. Okay, let me whip something up, chop chop, sizzle, a dash of honey, stir, all done, enjoy. Well, I'm always ready to eat. I'll be waiting when you're ready for more cooking. Hey there, you hungry? If you collect the ingredients, I'll cook us up something good. So good, it will permanently increase the maximum energy of your bees by 5%. I'll even throw in some honey for dessert. Check the quest menu to see our next recipe. And let's see, for the next quest, we need to collect pollen from the rose field and to defeat 12 scorpions. But I believe I can complete a quest right here at the pine tree forest. So I need to defeat one more mantis for the panda bear's quest. So let's do that. Here 
there we go. The quest is done. Let's go get another one. Okay, honey storm is over. Let's go here. Good work, here is another tip. The Rage Beast ability can stack up to three times. To progress further in the end challenge, you'll need to keep Rage consistently stacked. Keeping a few Rage Bees in your hive will help you with the challenges to come. Take this for now, one more quest and the star egg is yours. We don't believe in royalty on this mountain. If you want respect, you have to earn it. There is one creature who doesn't agree, the King Beetle. He is the boldest, brashest bug around. Thinks he was born better than the rest. He's always stealing our royal jelly and stashing it away under the clover field. It's time to put him in his place. If you're lucky, you might even obtain a King Beetle amulet. My star egg is yours if you complete this quest. Defeat 100 fire ants, 30 giant ants, 1 king beetle, and obtain a score of 75 or more in the ant challenge. That is a good quest, but I think that's gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!